हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू जी के टूडे टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वॉट इज अ वैक्यूम बॉम्ब सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो यूक्रेन एम्बेसडर टू द यूनाइटेड स्टेट एंड ह्यूमन राइट ग्रुप्स रिसेंटली अक्यूज रशिया ऑफ यूजिंग वैक्यूम बॉम्ब एंड क्लस्टर्ड बॉम्ब इन द ऑन गोइंग कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मीन वाइल एमनेस्टी इंटरनेशनल ऑल्सो अक्यूज दैम ऑफ अटैकिंग अ प्री स्कूल वेयर सिविलियंस हैड टेकन शेल्टर so the question is what is a vacuum bomb with the advancement of technology and the fast paced nature of warfare weapons have been upgraded too while most weapons rely on explosives to throw metal fragments to destroy target a new class of ammunition is focusing on blast as their primary output a vacuum bomb or thermobaric weapon sucks in oxygen from the surrounding air to generate a high temperature explosion typically producing a blast wave of a significantly longer duration than that of a conventional explosive and it is capable of vaporizing human bodies it is also known as an aerosol bomb now we will understand how does a vacuum bomb work A vacuum bomb is a two-stage munition with the first charge distributing aerosols made up of a very fine material from a carbon-based fuel to tiny metal particles and the second charge ignites that cloud creating a shock wave sucking up the oxygen and making a vacuum around its target Experts also have warned that the blast wave of a vacuum bomb lasts significantly longer than traditional explosive as per the human rights watch report this explosive was first used during the vietnam war by the us the report quoted a 1993 study by the us defense intelligence agency saying the kill mechanism against living target is unique and unpleasing what kills is the pressure wave and more importantly the subsequent refraction which ruptures the lung if the fuel deflagrates but does not detonate victims will be severely burnt and will probably also inhale the burning fuel the point here is to be noted that there has been no official confirmation that thermobaric weapons or a vacuum bomb have been used in the recent conflict between the ukraine and russia So that's all for the update. Thanks for watching.